In this video, I'm going to talk about the mistakes that students do in the structure of the regression equations. So we have some equations on the population side and some equations on the sample side. Let's first talk about the equations that we have on the population side. So over here, I'm going to write the regression equations that we have on the population side. So the first equation is expected value of y given x equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 x. The second equation is yi is equal to expected value of y given xi plus ui. And the third equation is yi equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 xi plus ui. So these are the three equations that we have on the population side. Now note that this first equation is the equation of the population regression line, which you can also call population regression function. When we write the equation of the population regression line, there is no error term in this equation. So in the first equation that I have over here, there is no error term. The error term comes into the equation number two and the equation number three. Basically, the first equation is written on an average level, so it does not have an error term. The second and the third equation that we have over here, these equations are written at an entity level. So if you have collected data on different households, then your entities will be households. So this left hand side means the value of the y variable for the ith household. And this ui means the error of the ith household in the population. So this second equation is written at an entity level. And when you write the equation at an entity level, then you have to add the error term. Okay, so in the first equation, you don't have to add the error term. Many students do this mistake that they write plus ui over here. So in the first equation, you do not have to write plus ui, but in the second equation, you do have to write plus ui. Similarly, this third equation that you see over here, this is actually a combination of equation number one and equation number two. So from the equation number one, you got this relationship. And if you put this relationship over here, then you get this equation number three. Now, because the equation number three is also at an entity level, that means in equation number three also, you have to write the population error term. Okay, so in this equation, which is the equation of the population regression line, do not add the error term. In the second and the third equation, you do have to add the error term. So these are the three equations that we have on the population side. Let's talk about the three equations that we have on the sample side. Now see, on the sample side, the counterpart of this equation is yi hat equal to beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat xi. The counterpart of this equation is yi is equal to yi hat plus ui hat. And the counterpart of this equation is yi equal to beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat xi plus ui hat. This is y i on the left hand side and on the right hand side, this is u i hat. So these are the three equations that we have on the sample side. Now see, even on the sample side, you have to pay attention to this equation first. This is the equation of the sample regression line. You can also call it sample regression function. When you write the equation of the sample regression line, you do not add the error term. So there is no error term in this first equation that you have over here. If you take a look at the second and the third equation, you do have an error term in the second and the third equation. So the error term will only come into picture when on the left hand side you have yi. In the first equation on the left hand side you have yi hat. So yi hat equation does not have an error term but the yi equation does have an error term. So this is one of the mistakes that I have seen many students making. They do not understand in which equations they have to put the error term. So I hope you have got some clarity from here that in the first equations, that is this equation and this equation do not put the error term. And in the second and the third equation, you have to put the error term. The notation that I am using for the population error term is ui. In your textbook, you may have a different notation. The notation that I'm using for the sample error is ui hat. Again, in your textbook, you may have a different notation. So this is about the placement of the error term in the equation. The next thing that I want you to note over here is that you will see why I and why I had both. Okay, so if you take a look at the sample equations, in the sample equations, you do have why I had, it is over here. And you do see y i, which is over here in the second equation as well as over here. Similarly, you can also see y hat over here. So you see y hat at some of the places, you see y i at some of the places. 
but there is nothing called x i hat in any of these equations this is also one of the things that i have seen some of the students writing they write y i hat equal to beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat x i hat you do not have to apply hat on the x x remains as it is so, so there is nothing like x i hat in these equations okay so this is all about the mistakes that students do in the structure of the regression equations